Today, we turn our attention to the latest updates from analysts regarding Costco's stock price target ahead of its earnings report. Costco Wholesale Corporation is renowned for its extensive network of approximately 876 warehouses, including 604 in the United States and Puerto Rico. The retailer attracts consumers with its competitive pricing, complimentary samples, and affordable food offerings. Memberships at Costco are structured into two tiers, a basic gold membership priced at $60 annually and an executive membership costing $120 per year, which rewards members with 2% cash back on purchases up to $1,000. Notably, Costco has achieved a commendable retention rate of nearly 93% in the United States and Canada during the second quarter, with the global retention rate standing at 90.5%. One of the notable contributors to Costco's impressive membership retention figures is its famous rotisserie chicken, a customer favorite that has been consistently priced at $4 $4.99 for over a decade. The company has assured customers that there are no plans to increase this price in the near future. Last year, Costco sold an astonishing 137 million rotisserie chickens worldwide, surpassing the population of Mexico. This feat was supported by Costco's investment in a 400,000 square foot poultry processing plant in Nebraska, operational since 2019, which enables significant cost savings. The facility processes approximately 2 million chickens each week, sourced from a network of chicken farmers and Costco's own chicken houses. In an effort to enhance convenience for its customers, Costco has recently entered into a partnership with Uber Eats. This collaboration allows both members and non-members in select markets to have groceries delivered directly to their homes. Bank of American Securities highlighted this partnership as a significant advantage for Uber Technologies Inc. as it continues to expand its grocery delivery services. However, it is worth noting that Costco will be closed on Memorial Day Monday, May 27th, 2024. Customers are advised to place their orders ahead ahead of the holiday. Earlier this month, Costco reported net sales of $19.8 billion for April, reflecting an increase of 7.1% from $18.48 billion in the same period last year. For the 35-week period of the fiscal year, net sales reached $166.44 billion, marking a 7% increase from $155.62 billion in the previous year. The company indicated that the shift in the timing of Easter had a slight adverse effect on total and comparable sales reducing them by just over 0.5%. Following the April sales report, Loop Capital analysts raised their price target for Costco shares to $840 from $820, maintaining a buy rating. However, they adjusted their comparable sales estimates downward for the remainder of the fiscal year due to ongoing inflationary pressures on consumers. Despite these challenges, Costco's e-commerce segment exhibited robust growth, increasing by 15%, driven by an expanding product selection and and ongoing improvements to its consumer interface. In March, Costco reported second quarter earnings of $3.92 per share, surpassing the LSEG consensus estimate of $3.62. The company's revenue for the quarter amounted to $58.44 billion, which fell slightly short of Wall Street's expectation of $59.16 billion in sales. Membership fee revenue showed an impressive year-over-year -year increase of 8.2%, totaling $1.11 billion for the quarter. In summary, Costco's strategic initiatives, including its investment in poultry processing and its partnership with Uber Eats, are contributing to the company's sustained growth. Despite inflationary pressures and a slight shift in consumer spending patterns due to the timing of Easter, Costco continues to demonstrate resilience highlighted by its strong membership retention rates and notable growth in e-commerce. The positive adjustments in its stock price target and the solid performance in recent quarters underscore the company's robust business model and its ability to adapt to changing market dynamics.